So in this video, I want to talk about essentially the SN2 stereochemistry involved within SN2 reaction and how the molecule changes after an SN2 reaction. So to get a good idea of what happens, first we'll start off with this molecule using this molecule that I've drawn. And so as we spoke before, the transition state is really important for an SN2 reaction. It's essentially, it involves, it's the state in which the nucleophile and electrophile are both involved. And so let me just draw that out. And so what I've drawn in red is the transition state, known as TS. And for our nucleophile, we're going to use OH minus. So this is our nucleophile. That's going to then attack this carbon right there. And so now here, we have the transition state in which Actually, let me erase this. Those are not actual bonds. They're partial bonds. So I'm going to draw them in with a dotted line. And so those bonds are being partially formed and partially broken. Because remember, carbon can have five bonds. And so this is the transition state. And so what's going to happen is if you notice the bromine here is on the right side and the OH is coming in from the left because it has to attack from the back side so behind the bromine in order to kick it out so now you have this transition state right there and then after the bromine leaves as you can imagine the HO that came in over here is pretty electro um it's pretty electron dense so it has a lot of electrons as a result it's going to push everything away from it so in the end you get this i want to draw it in blue and so down here is the final product after that sn2 um reaction and so let's essentially, so what happens is it essentially, it's like an umbrella getting flipped inside and out. And so the bromine leaves and the oxygen, essentially the OH helps invert the configuration. Although the R and S may not change, remember that, because um, we'll do an example later, but... So one really important thing is SN2 reactions. Let me write this down. So right here, what I've wrote is that SN2 reactions invert the stereochemistry of the molecule, even though the R and S may not change, may not change. And so here, we could do it out. Um, we'll Actually, we can't um, assign an R and S because this is not chiral. So let me do two examples. So this is the first one that we're going to do. We're going to have OH- as a nucleophile attacking that carbon and kicking out the bromine. And so as we just learned, it's going to invert the configuration. So then you're going to end up with a molecule that looks like this. Oops. So you're going to have a molecule that looks like that. And what we started with was an R configuration. Um, and so you could pause it and just make sure, try and determine that configuration for yourself. And now on this molecule here, we're going to do the stereochemistry and see what it is. So number one would go to the chlorine. Number two would be the oxygen. Number three is the carbon. And so, as a result, this one still retains the R configuration. The molecule still is R. So that was what I was talking about before when I stated that the inversion of configuration 
will always occur, but the R and S may not change. And so now let's do an example of when the R and S changes. The R and S nomenclature, I mean. And so down here, what I've drawn is a different reaction where you have the OH minus attacking a carbon with an R nomenclature. And so now we're going to see what happens after. So I'm going to draw what molecule forms after this reaction because remember the thing is the molecule is going to be inverted so it's going to look something like this. And so now if we rank it it's going to go actually sorry I drew the wrong nucleophile let me just erase this. So what I've changed is just the nucleophile so the nucleophile I drew it wrong the first time we're going to use SH minus and so in the end um, you're going to get this molecule right here and now let's try and um, designate a nomenclature of RNS so first S comes first then the fluorine then the carbon and so since it's counterclockwise you would designate that as an S configuration and so as you see sometimes the RNS nomenclature may not change but there's always going to be an inversion of a configuration with an SN2 reaction and so I hope this video helped you if it did please give it a like and share it with your friends